So here are the instructions for putting together the XM1 Mini. The files are on my Etsy, Zorosiris, same as my Twitter. You can follow me on there. Uh, I'll be posting more mice and like base plates and stuff like that. So grab the side buttons and then slot them in in their appropriate spots on the bottom base plate. Essentially, this is just to make sure that you know there's no uh, tolerance issues or anything with your printer. You'll see that my front side button actually uh, it's been sanded down a little just because I don't know the way that I broke the supports off wasn't very efficient. The way you're going to put the battery in is to make sure that the USB is facing up, and then you're going to slide it up at an angle toward the front of the mouse and then straighten it out, and then push it back down. It could twist during this process. You'll see me twisting it back in the video. Just make sure the USB slot faces up. Be careful when you're handling the battery wires. Don't touch them at the joint that it connects to the metal because they're very, very easy to pull off and then you'll have to solder them back on. Make sure the battery slides towards the front of the mouse to create some space, and then essentially just hook this end in. Now slide the battery back down and put a little pressure on it when you rotate it. Compress the spring on this end, and you'll see that it goes just out of focus here, but you're just sliding the bottom of the spring down into the little slit there. I'm just shaking it a little here to make sure the fit's correct. Should be good, but if you want to, you could always throw some tape or something in there to you know, hold it still. Grab the magnetic USB attachment and feed it through the top. Uh, it's helpful to like hold the battery from below when you do this, basically. Make sure the battery wire isn't in the way here. I had to tuck mine out of the way. Uh, for the triggers, you're essentially going to be pushing them back towards the back of the mouse, and then you're also going to have to push them down towards the bottom of the mouse. Mainly exert pressure where my index finger points to. Once you've got them pushed back into place, push them down as well at the back here. Screw them in with the two long screws. I found it helpful to hold down the mouse buttons while you do this. Put the screws in that actually actuate the switches. Uh, I generally just screw them in all the way and then back them out like half a screw. It'll be a little different, like you'll probably have a little bit of variation based on your printer, but somewhere around there is fine. And then you can just tune it where, you know, longer means less pre-travel, shorter means more pre-travel. So again, line up the side buttons with where they slot in on the bottom plate, and then you're gonna use the smallest screw you have, the ones you only have four of that come from the mouse buttons on the G305. Screw them in all the way, and then back them out one quarter turn. Additionally, I find it helpful to hold both of the side buttons together when screwing in the front one, as it's slightly looser than the back one usually. You can see my front side button is a little loose here, so I'm tightening it up. Slide the PCB into place now, just make sure your on and off switch don't fall off. There are four PCB screws you'll put in. Slide the side button PCB down and back. Use the screw that came off of the side buttons on the G305. You can use either of the small screws for the switches. You're just going to slot them down and screw them in. I suggest screwing them in at the back first because that one's a little harder to thread usually. Note that you don't have to cut the pins off at all. They slot neatly into the G305 PCB. You're going to want to connect your battery wires at this point. To get the top on, you're essentially going to hook it on. You're going to push to the right and a bit up and then down and then back to the left. Basically, you just have to hook to get like around the side buttons. At this point, you're just going to make sure that your clicks work and everything. If you feel like there's too much free travel, open it back up and undo the screws a bit. And if you are going to open it back up, I put a little divot here in the back. That's a flat spot, and then there's a little slot you can slot something into. I think it's usually easiest if you pop something in there first, and then carefully open it up at the back. I jump cut here because I was just opening and closing it and adjusting the clicks to get them how I wanted them to feel. So now just toss the two long screws in the front and then do the two short screws at the back. And then tighten it all and don't like over tighten anything. 
All right, this angle was like apparently trash for the scale. So it's 64 grams here, and then I'd expect like another two to three grams with uh, the solid variant. So, you know, 67. And then you probably get another gram or two variants based on which battery you're using. Yeah, so that's all. Just, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Follow me on Twitter. I'm going to be making more mice.